We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies, YouTube channel, Easter Egg Psychic. In this video, I'll cover actor Griffin Dunn. He's an actor having appeared in An American Werewolf in London in 1981. This is directed by John Landis, along with a cast that includes David Naughton, Jenny Agutter, and Frank Oz. He was in Martin Scorsese's After Hours in 1985, along with Rosanna Arquette, Tommy Chong, Linda Fiorentino, Terry Garr, John Hurd, Cheech Marin, Catherine O'Hara, Dick Miller, Bronson Pinchot, and Bronson Pinchot. He was a producer on Baby It's You in 1983 with Rosanna Arquette, Vincent Spano, Robert Downey Jr., and Matthew Modine. Dunn was also a director. Films he worked on include Addicted to Love from 1997. In this was Meg Ryan, Matthew Broderick, Chinky Corio, Kelly Preston. He directed Practical Magic in 1998. Based on the novel by Alice Hoffman, in this were actresses Sandra Bullock, Nicole Kim and Stalker Channing, Diane Weist, Aiden Quinn. So I took a look at Griffin Dunn. Three actors I believe he may resemble. These are Ray Liotta, Robert De Niro, and possibly Michael Imperioli. They appeared in Martin Scorsese's 1990 crime film, Goodfellas. Also in this were Joe Pesci, Lorraine Bracco, Paul Sorvino, Debbie Mazar, Elena Douglas, Samuel L. Jackson, Tobin Bell, and Vincent Gallo. Alright, connections. Michael Imperioli and Griffin Dunn were both in the cast of the 2007 romantic mystery The Inner Life of Martin Frost. And this starred David Thewlis, Irene Jacob, and Sophie and Paul Auster. Yeah, I think actor Robert De Niro's film history with Director Martin Scorsese is a good clue. Griffin Dunn, of course, appeared in After Hours, 1985. And notably, this was the first film directed by Scorsese since 1974's Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, in which Robert De Niro was not part of the cast. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television. From the past, I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. I also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is eggguy. that's G-U-Y, at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.